Hey there, I'm Sarah from Simply Steam. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create bone towers with your class and how to differentiate it for your kiddos. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. So the next thing we're gonna do is the Bone Tower of Terror. You will use Q-tips for this STEM challenge and that's it. We are going to make the tallest tower that we can. I'm going to limit myself to using only 20 Q-tips. Let's remind students too that we want to keep these out of our ears. So we're going to limit to 20 Q-tips. Here we go. Okay, so here's what 20 Q-tips look like. All right, let's see how tall we can get this sucker. You will need to have a ruler. I was thinking as I was doing this, I was thinking, I was like, I'm going to do this as a triangle because I want to have as much as many as I can to go up high. So if I do four to a side, um, it'll take it'll use more resources. So let's just try to use three. my finger I tried to put it on there okay all right so here is my tower of terror now I wonder if I could get it even higher let me know in the comments below what I could do to make it even higher obviously if I have more q-tips that would make it higher but maybe you have another idea I'd love to know so share with us below all right you will take a ruler to measure that. I unfortunately don't have one on hand right now, so sorry. If you love bone chilling STEM, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Head on over to my candy corn bottle flipping video where I'll show you how to do a really fun STEM challenge that's gonna just make your kids really engaged. 